Yeah. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, I mean, well, I mean, for me, I basically had to do all my scenes with them and then without them. So that was my battle. Um, I... So we hold it? I don't know. I was just giving it to you. So okay. okay. <laughs> <We're great>. um, <laughs> there was, you know, uh, there was a learning curve for sure. Um, but once you kind of get used to the technology and the face camera and being in the suit and everything... You kind of forget that you're wearing any of it, and it becomes it, be, it, 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 it becomes just like acting, but you have you know acting normal act, you know human acting, um, but you're standing differently and using your voice differently, and, and and so it's it's really freeing, it's really liberating because you you almost get to do more than you would otherwise. Yeah, yeah. It's, it reads every, like, like, because, so there's, there's the sensors, right? But then there's also the, the, the animators who are, who are basically know your face better than you do and, and are, and are, you know, hand animating your, you, your performance. Um, and they pick up every single thought. So, so it's, it's not really, you don't have to push anything. It's, you almost can do less. And, and it will transfer to the to the eight because it's got you know slightly bigger features than you do. Yeah. Um, Crystal Green, is there a moment that was the most rewarding to see you know kind of play out in terms of the final product? Let me show you guys your just running my brain. I mean, our our final scene together was one that we did a whole lot of times um, yeah, and of the changed audition. a lot, and so I think. It feels good that we we finally got the right version of that. Scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it, yeah. Although you know what, there was a part of me which was like there was certain moments cut between us that yeah. meant that the emotion didn't land it didn't, as didn't I make as it much would. sense. Yes, yeah. which was frustrating. But, yeah. Um, I agree. But uh, I would say the human hunt as well, like watching oh, that, because yeah. that's you know it's iconic. Yeah. You know, and and um, and I think if they did it really well. It's, I was saying yesterday it has me on the edge of my seat, and I know what happens. Yeah. The same thing goes for me for for e when when Eagle Clan is attacked. I I like the end of that sequence when I fall off the thing. Like my heart is just pounding every time, and I like I've seen it like six, seven times now, you know, it's so affecting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Um, so, as a team, you guys are all kind of like, and you're asking me for these and things like that. Um, and you guys just want, like, so many of them, so many, like, of the stunts and practical techniques, and you guys filmed in Australia. What would you think the environment like to kind of, like, I think it was, a lot of people ask us, oh, you were shooting the blue screen a lot then, and, and it's like, no, like we were out there in the bush of Australia, and I think that uh, it's, it was massively helpful just, you know, even just feeling the ground on my bare feet, you know, <laughs> like feeling the... It, it, I mean, it just feels more real when you're on location, and and, uh, and you know whether it's like running through the water or, or crawling through the reeds, and my knees getting all bashed up, and it all kind of helps, I think, um, with the end end product. And also, it's just beautiful and, and amazing to get to see the places we saw. I don't know if I would have seen that otherwise. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it it, it adds a, a level of realism that the film would otherwise lack. You know. And then one thing I love about the film is that it ends on a very difficult and kind of for like the future of humanity and things like that. And a lot of the films are driven from the future effects. What would you guys say as actors your hopes are for the future of acting and being all the best together? Well, I'm hopeful that uh, AI stops 
and never gets used ever for anything. Because I hate it. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Marlene from uh, Six Degrees of Heat. Can you talk about stunts? For me, for me, it was my drowning sequence. Um, you know, I was I was having a lot of water shoot up my nose, but I mean, I still found it fun. I, I love all, I love all the stunt stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I they actually had me upside down, and they dunked me into the water and see saw how long I could uh, hold my breath. <laughs> that was what we did before we filmed, and uh, that was fun. Yeah, I remember that. I remember so you weird. Just, it was like yeah. my first proper day, and they were just like just dunking like, me yeah, into the water the upside tank. down. But you're kind of, you, like, Freya is a freak, because she loves that stuff so much. <laughs> yeah, I do. She was like, yeah, get pour the water up my nose. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. What is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> You know, the thing is, I I had like three stunt doubles who were all fabulously talented, um, and they each did different things. Like I had a fly a fly double for like when you know it's like falling and stuff, and then I had like a horse riding double for like going really fast on the horses, like when I scoop you up off the ground, you know, off the log. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, yeah, and I did a bit with you to double. Yeah, like, on the horse, right. On the back. Um, like it is me really riding the horse for much of the movie but like anytime there's a big fight on a horse like yeah um, so the great thing about being a digital character is that you don't actually have to do anything dangerous because they can just animate it yeah like there's this scene where we're walking along the cliff and I don't think you really see but there was one uh, uh, there was a bit where they actually wanted me to be fully hit by the wave and we had a big wave machine the wave was so strong it broke the set it broke the wall and I was getting hit by it which again because I'm a freak I was loving it but um, but yeah they did, they were originally meant to be doing it and, and then they were like ah, we yeah. don't need it get them out we don't need it so Let it was just rest. me on my own walking along the cliff for most of it a lot of the really dangerous stuff Freya had to do alone <laughs> yeah, yeah literally yeah <laughs> just always me in it on my own it sounds like you've got to talk to them about your stunt doubles <laughs> no 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 I don't want them to use the stunt double because I love it like whenever the double was out I, she was so lovely and I sometimes feel like an, an annoying actor because I'm I'm stealing their job but um but she was very supportive of, of me doing that. But any time I saw her standing in my place, I was like, excuse me, guys, what's she doing down there? Because I'm meant to be being, being uh, you know, suffocated or whatever. Yeah. That's Maybe good. the next time for this. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, you ask one. You being the lead role of the film, uh, Owen is my name as well. Oh, no way. Yeah, hey, that's weird. The first time I know. What was your favorite part of becoming that character, and what does it mean to be that character? I am so... I just pressed something on this. It's okay? All right. I'm so deeply attached to Noah, more so than I've been to any other character. Um, it was, it was a, it was a process of, of finding who he was, you know. And I think there was a moment, like three weeks before we started shooting, where I had, I've been thinking about the physical aspect, I've been thinking about the voice, I've been thinking about, you know, the, all the pressure of following Andy. Um, and and there was a moment where I kind of just realized, like, this this is this guy is me as a chimpanzee. Like, if I grew up in Eagle Clan, this is who I would be. And, and that's when it all kind of came together, um, which is bizarre because normally I play people who are very different from me and now I'm playing an ape and it's like I'm more similar to that character than I've ever been to anybody else. But um, I mean, even, even today, you know, like I, I hear Noah's music or I hear like the, the theme in the film um, or I think about Eagle Clan or I see a picture and like I get emotional I'm, like I'm emotionally affected by all things for him so yeah you did a great job thank you Absolutely. thank you very much